Hello and welcome. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Georgie from Healing Moons and today we're going to be talking about the waxing gibbous moon phase and how it relates to cyclical living. And the general theme of this is to stay on course and it takes place 10 and a half to 15 days after the new moon. And the key words for this particular phase are tweak, hone, and adjust. Now in this particular phase, as the energy is beginning to get to its peak, which is what will happen with the full moon, it's the time to review what we've managed to manifest so far, tweak any bits that need to be done. Um, so if something isn't quite working, you can drop that and focus on what is. Um, it's also a time for stamina, so don't give up on your manifestations and your dreams and what it is that you're working towards and the goals that you've set for this lunar month. Even if it's broken down into bite-sized chunks per month, depending on what it is, it doesn't matter. You can continue to build on those and don't lose sight at this moment in time. Um, also, don't allow your fear or ego to stop you. Um, you can kind of get those doubts creeping in because it's it's almost there and it's like the, the universe is testing you to see whether it's, it is actually what you want and whether you can push through those fears to manifest your desires. So stay on course, push through those. Um, if you can, then try and do work to let go of them. Um, there are many rituals and things like that that you can do around this time to kind of help let go of those as well. So as I said, it's the time to review what's working and what isn't. Make sure that everything is, is kind of in order. Um, and try to be patient. Now this is a really tough one for all of us because we, we want it and we want it now. Um, but if there wasn't the time buffer in between having that thought of what we desire and then having it there in the 3D in front of us, we wouldn't have that time to monitor any negative thinking and that downward spiral that we can sometimes get stuck in where we're thinking something negative or something that you don't actually want, but it's almost like a fantasy role play in your head of the worst case scenario. It gives you that time to change your train of thought to refocus on the positive and what it is that does light you up and that you do want to bring in. Um, so without that, life could be a life could be a bit of a pickle. Sorry, I caught the stand with my foot then, um, <laughs> and I was mid flow. But yes, so and there goes the battery pack. But these little things are going to come up. They're going to be there to. It's kind of like a demonstration for you. There's going to be little things that try and set you back and slow down your progress. But it isn't about those things happening that you need to focus on. They're a part of life. It's how you carry on and just take it in your stride because it happens to all of us. Um, but you need to keep going and don't lose sight of what it is that you're trying to achieve or that you're trying to do and just keep going for it. Um, also, this is a great time to get back into any good habits that you may have let go or that you want to start doing. You know what it's like when you fall out of a routine and it can be hard to get back into it. This is the perfect time to start those new habits that you want to take on or to, to restart old habits that were a good habit to have. So this is a perfect time for that. And then moving on to the crystals, we have Moonstone, which as you can tell by the name is great for any moon phase that we're in. Um, but I've decided to include it in this one. Um, so Moonstone embraces the energy flow. So regardless of what phase of the moon you're in or how you're feeling within yourself, it enables you to 
go with the ebb and flow and how you're feeling to fully embrace it so that by doing so it allows it to pass through easier same as what it is with emotions if you allow yourself to stop and feel them to fully embody them like you see toddlers do um, if they're upset completely bawling their eyes out 10 seconds later completely happy and giggling it's because they're allowing it to move through their body and to process it and this is kind of a similar thing to what moonstone does it stops the energy from becoming stagnant and allows you to go with the ebb and flow of the moon phases and the energy within us as well um, and we've also got citrine it's a, a common theme as you would have noticed running through the waxing moon phases if you've been following the series um, which is your solar plexus it's also for optimism and prosperity and happiness in general um, because it is part of our our energy center um, and we've also got green jade which can actually be used for all phases uh, which is for wealth and prosperity and good luck so you can pick out the crystal that works for you depending on what it is that you're trying to manifest as well um, and to bring that energy in to your manifestations um, so we've also got rose quartz and I keep putting my notes in front of the camera it's going to be one of those episodes this time um, so we've got rose quartz for unconditional love um, for yourself and others which let's face it that's what makes the world go round um, some people might disagree with me and say money is what makes the world go round but when we can love ourselves unconditionally it doesn't make our happiness um, circumstantial so we're not looking to the outside for, for our happiness and feeling loved and content once we can do that for ourselves and it's unconditional so we don't place a condition on it of we have to act a certain way or look a certain way then that can bring that kind of inner contentment and, and happiness to ourselves and then once our cup is full it's easier for us to love other people unconditionally without judgement um, so rose quartz is a great crystal for that and obviously it's also great for romantic desires and also friendship as well if those are part of what you're trying to manifest then that's another great crystal to use and then moving on to essential oils we have the same kind of thing as what we've had in the other videos for this particular the waxing phase of the moon I should say um, so we've got sage which is cleansing and for mental fatigue and we also have lemon which is your energy boost and there's lime uh, which is cheerful and fresh and it also cleanses and purifies um, then we have peppermint which is uplifting and stimulating and rosemary which is also stimulating and invigorating and it also helps with memory as well then we have spearmint uh, which is for headaches and stress and it also helps with new ideas kind of blowing away the cobwebs sort of a an oil and we also have cedarwood which helps to calm anxiety and nerves and tension and it also increases focus so those are our oils for the the waxing gibbous and I would like to thank you for joining me for this series um, we're about maybe halfway through I think now and uh, yeah if you're enjoying this then please give me a thumbs up let me know that I'm creating decent content hopefully for you and uh, yeah you know what to do if you're enjoying this subscribe and all of that sort of thing and I will see you again next week love and light take care bye